بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Hello everyone I'm Abir Al-Anadi your English teacher today Our lesson today will be from Flying High 2 for the second level of the secondary stage Today we're gonna take lesson 2 from the 6th unit keeping up with technology at this unit we have talked about technology developing cars uh, how can we use the hygiene car Z ZEVs cars and so on we have taken the advantages and disadvantages of them and we have take also we have talked about uh, the some uh, solutions of the uh, city uh, pollutions caused by uh, public or by cars and transportations. Today, inshallah, we're gonna take listen to keeping up uh, from keeping up with technology at page 53 communications systems. Today, go to page 53 <coughs> and I will read the objectives for you. Today, we're gonna, inshallah, teach gerunds, also develop reading skills, develop speaking skills, expressing agreement and disagreement. This is our objectives today. First of all, go to three, grammar builder. Today, we're gonna take gerunds do you know what's the meaning of gerunds i think all of you knows what's the meaning of gerunds we are used to use them gerunds mean when we uh, or they are nouns made with the ing form of a verb okay here we have smoking it's a gerund is bad for you so we have the noun smoke we add I and G. This will give us gerund, smoking. Okay, this is the meaning of gerund, swimming, smoking, reading, and so on. All of these words. Now, go to 3A, underline the gerund phrases below, the first one has been done for you. Okay, here we have four sentences. They have gerunds. The first one is done for you. Strong energy and batteries is a problem right now. So, storing energy in batteries is a problem right now. Here we have the gerund storing. Okay. Storing. As you can see, this is the gerund, and this is the gerund phrase storing energy in batteries. Okay, we have take the noun store plus ing, it will give us a gerund storing. Okay, now go to two. Traveling by ZEV will be a cheap or will be cheap. This is our gerund, traveling. Okay, and this is, this is the gerund phrase. You know what's the meaning of gerund phrase? The phrase which has gerund. Traveling by Z, uh, ZEV, okay? Now, go to the third one. Using a portable computer doesn't make you a genius. Here, this is the gerund using use plus ing. And this is the gerund phrase using a portable computer. A portable computer means 
You can take it anywhere, not the big one. Now, go to four, sentence number four. Our best hope for, fut for the future is creative thinking. So, where is the gerund phrase? Creative thinking. This is the gerund. Thinking. Think plus ing. And this is the gerund phrase. Creative thinking. Okay? Here, we have underlined the gerund phrases in all the sentences. Okay? Traveling by ZD, ZEV using a portable computer, creative thinking, okay? Now, move on to 3B. Use a preposition and the gerund to complete each of the sentences at the top of the next column, okay? Here, we have sentences from 1 to 5. Okay, use these propositions with these gerunds to fill in this spaces. Okay, we have prepositions on, in, for, at, of. We have gerunds preventing, meeting, ignoring, knowing, watching. Five gerunds. Here, number one. Success in business depends, depends on what? Yes, what do you think? Depends on what? On knowing, okay? So the first one will be on plus knowing, on knowing. the most up-to-date information. You must be knowing all the information, the new information. Number two, governments have been accused the problems caused by pollution. What do you think? What they are accused of? What did they say about them? Yes, what do you think? Preventing, meeting, watching, or ignoring? Of ignoring excellent of ignoring the pollution problems now go to three a new generation phones appeal to people interested multimedia clips on the move what uh, do the new generation of phones can do can do what in watching, okay, in watching. So, new generation mobile phones appeal to people interested in watching multimedia clips on the move. Number four, the internet is very useful, yes, at meeting. It's a very useful at or for meeting, sorry, for meeting. It's very useful for meeting here for meeting. Okay. So the internet is very useful for meeting other people with similar interests. You can meet anyone with similar interests, interests in, by using the internet. Okay, the last one, international efforts should be aimed for what? At preventing more environmental damage. So the last one will be at preventing at preventing more environmental damage okay now after putting your answer putting your answers 
go to 3C. 3C. Don't forget to relate each proposition to the prob uh, appropriate gerund. Go to C, please. Substitute the underlined words with gerund phrases. The first one has been done for you. Here we have ocean truffle is uncommon nowadays. Now we have exchange ocean truffle by traveling by boat, okay? Traveling by boat is uncommon nowadays. Do the same with the rest of the sentences, uh, two, three, four. As you can see here, night work is usually very un inconvenient. How can we change it to a gerund? Yes, can you think? Let's try, let us try. Work, add to work, ing, working at night. And complete the rest of the sentence. Complete is usually very inconvenient. Three, city life can be dangerous. City life can be dangerous. How can we change it? We can say living in city or cities. Okay, and complete your sentence. The last one, here we have the gerund, uh, the war, uh, we must put the gerund phrase at the last. A lot inf uh, of investment goes to technology de uh, development. We can say developing technology, okay, a lot of investment goes to into developing, uh, developing technology, put it at the last, this is the gerund phrase, put it at the last of the sentence, number four, a lot of investment goes into developing technology, okay, now we have changed the phrases, the underlying phrases with fra uh, gerund phrases, okay? Number one, night work becomes working at night. Number three, city life becomes living in city or cities. Number four, put at the back, uh, at the last of the sentence, developing technology, okay? Now, move on to four, reading and speaking. A, working bears or with anyone, colleagues, friends or anyone, look at the column A, we have column A and column B. Try to read it and say if you agree or disagree with the statement and why. Here, is, here you have an example. A, using computers doesn't improve your life. This is the opinion of A, the, bear, the first person. The second one said, B, no, I don't agree. Using computers is really, is, is really useful. For example, you can bank on the internet 24 hours a day. He thinks he disagree with the first one and he thinks uh, internet or uh, uh, computer made our life easier. Computers made our life easier today. Now go to the first one. Surfing the internet is a waste of time. He thinks surfing the internet is a waste of time. Yes. And do you agree with him or disagree? Some of you will say, yes, I agree with you. It's a waste of time. Others will say, no, we are, uh, we disagree with you. We can serve for useful things. We can uh, download books. Uh, uh, we can watch uh, YouTube lessons and so on. As you, 
uh, doing now? Okay, let's go to student B. Using mobile phones is usually unnecessary. He said using mobile phones is usually unnecessary. What do you think? Do you agree with him or disagree? Yes, some of a few will disagree with him and some will agree. The one who will agree with him, they said it's a waste of time. They can't uh, make it useful for them. The others say it's useful for us. We use phones or mobile phones uh, uh, to communicate with other relatives, with the friends, with uh, brothers, to, uh, to do a lot of things with it. And it helps them, it help the, it helps them with their works and so on. And the other said it's not necessary and it's a waste of time. Go to student A here. Let's read his opinion. Playing video games makes children hyperactive. Scientists said uh, they agree with him. They said uh, video games make uh, children hyperactive. While there is other scientists disagree with him and use these games to uh, to, uh, to cure or to give some children uh, the opportunity to focus in something and to try to succeed in, it, uh, succeed, uh, succeed in it. So someone will agree and someone will disagree. You must use with uh, the other point of view and try to confess him or he will try to confess you, okay? Go to the last here opinion Watching TV is an escape from reality. Some people say uh, watching TV is an escape from reality. Do you agree or disagree with him, with them? Okay, sometimes it's like that. When you watch TV all the time and you can't move from uh, in front of it, this is an escape from reality. And you will watch something not real, Okay, that's a bad effect of TV. But sometimes we watch the news, we watch some good movies, we try to learn new languages, and some, many times if you know how to use it, it will be a good and uh, a useful thing to use. These are some points, uh, points of view as you agree or disagree with it, okay? We have taken them from the both sides okay now your homework after we have taken the agreement and disagreement and we have taken the gerunds and their uses and how to form gerunds uh, we have finished our class today your homework will be inshallah page 36 and 37 30 homework 36 and 37. Try to prepare for next lesson. And that's all for today. I have that you have enjoyed the lesson. Thank you and see you soon, inshallah.